pull out the coupe at the lot. Yo, what is up you guys? Chase pulling up on your screen. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Chase Jobson. If you guys would, please go hit that subscribe button. Join the family. Chase it every single day. You know what we do on this channel. Chasing our goals every single day, guys. But yeah, see that car behind me? That is what we got to take care of today. I said I was going to take care of it in the last video. If you guys did not see the last video that I posted, go check it out. It'll be right there in the corner. Go check it out. Um, I just I got home basically not too long ago, guys, and yeah, you know I've just been chilling. My mom actually just got this swing, and I'm chilling in it. It's pretty cool. So, you know, we're outside. It's a nice day out. I don't know what we're gonna really be doing all today, but today is Friday, and I gotta post the video today. So that means I gotta something for you guys here kind of quickly but hopefully it's not too windy also it's a little windy out right now but I need to take care of the car today guys so I think right now we're gonna go take some pictures of the car um, you know some somewhat decent pictures of the car I might even try to clean the car first that actually probably would be a good idea I have a power washer and stuff so I might as well just try to clean the car first and then we're gonna try to do all that so the goal today is obviously get the car out to the front of the road parked up there it does still start and everything um, somewhat drives we're gonna put it out on the side of the road and see if anybody will buy it um, and I'm gonna put it on Facebook marketplace and probably gonna put it on Craigslist but Facebook marketplace is probably the most that I really want to put it on because people can get a hold of me pretty easily on that but same with Craigslist I'll just put my phone number on there but I'm trying to get at least a thousand for the car guys I know I'm losing money on the car but if I go to fix this car honestly it probably would cost me like if I fully wanted to fix the car probably wouldn't be anywhere less than a thousand dollars and that's kind of the main reason and why I don't want to fix the car I need to get a new car and I already got my eyes on a different car guys I'm probably gonna be possibly getting a Volkswagen or a Ford Focus so I'll let you guys know when it does happen and when we are going to look at the car um, maybe today I'll even go look at the cars with my dad I'll see what he's doing today if not today then I need to go somewhere else and see if there's a you know any cars over there if anything just hits my eye and I see it that I might want you know I'm very picky with my cars I don't want just any you know like a Chevy Malibu or something like that I don't want no just regular ironic car I don't want a Pontiac G6 or something like that you know I know a Pontiac G6 would be a cheap car I could find that find those anywhere and get it super super quick but I'm kind of looking for a car, you know, that I would like driving. I feel good driving in like I did when I was driving my Nissan. I felt good driving that car. Even though I didn't get it for a lot of money, I only got it for $2,800. It was a dang good car. And it honestly would still be driving and still be working if I did not crash it and did all the things that I did to the car. But, yeah, guys, we're going to get everything hooked up. I'm going to get all the power wash and stuff and see if we can get some of the color from the brake stuff, you know, on the thing. Make it look like that the brakes are not totally bad. But, yeah, we're gonna try to make it look like it's a little bit cleaner, guys. So, I guess I'll see you guys when I got everything hooked up. So, let's get it. All right, guys, I just got everything set up and I had to let the this thing run for a little while. It's got soaked because it has a little leak right here in the handle as you guys can see it's dropping dripping i mean but first i wanted to clean out my trunk because it was filthy and there's a bunch you guys can see a bunch there's literally a dead bug right there i got a bug just coming in here man get out of here come here get out 
I got just like a bath bomb exploded in here and stuff. So I got to vacuum that out first. But I had to pull all this stuff out of the trunk. So, yeah, I kind of had to clean out the trunk to even go put it out to sell. But I want to clean up all this stuff around in these cracks and stuff. So I just tried to, I just cleaned everything out. We're going to vacuum this real quick. And then we're going to start power washing it. I just got the power washer all hooked up. So we'll do that right after I do all this. And if you guys did not see in the other, or yesterday's video, or not yesterday's, uh, Wednesday's video, I actually put the aftermarket speak or radio back in. So that is back in the car and how it is I'm just gonna sell it with the car because there's no point in me even you know trying to change it out go spend money to get a new part because I lost the connection the old connection to the radio I have the old radio right over there but I don't have the cord so I might as well just leave it and just you know leave it for, for somebody else so they can enjoy you know aftermarket speaker in there or radio and i have speakers in there but the main thing i really do want to clean about the car is so you guys might know i only have basically like three rims but they're those plastic pieces i, pr I might go try to see if i can find one more my dad said he has a buddy that owns a junkyard i might go see if he has any parts for me and that honestly might help me even more in the potential of fixing the car for very very cheap and maybe just fix the car so i might try to do that guys but i'll let you guys know what's actually going to be going on with it i know i keep saying i'm getting a new car and that is what i want to do but when i say i want to fix the car i don't know if i want to fix the car before i sell it and that way i can make more money off the car but i'm feeling like i would just lose money if I took it to a dealership and just had them do it. So, but if I did it myself, I would, it would just take more time out of my own day to fix the car up and then try to make more money off it. But that would be all up to me and something I would have to figure out. But the goal is to at least get it out for sale today. So, because I want to see if I can even get some offers for it. So I might as well put it out for sale. Maybe even just out to the road, you know, just get it out there. See if I can get even an offer just from somebody going down the road. So, yeah. But, anyways, guys, I'm going to get to vacuuming the back or the trunk real quick. Make sure that's all clean. And then we're going to start power washing. And I'll probably do a little time lapse of me power washing the car. And hopefully we can get some good, actually make the car clean before we go put it out there. So, yeah. See y'all. In a little bit all right guys i've been drinking these way too much but i added i took all these lights out all these like lights i had under my car like underneath your feet and stuff i had a bunch of them in there but we just got the back all vacuumed out so she looks pretty dang good in here i don't really know i know you guys see that now but yeah she's ready to close just want to show you guys real quick. I even like vacuumed all in the crack, cracks like in between all here. But the inside is already clean, guys. Like I could go over with it again with the vacuum, you know, to get more as much dirt out of it as possible. And you know, I might do that, but I want to get to power washing it for you guys real quick. So, but the front and everything is all right. And I am probably going to take off these seat covers i don't know if there was anything on the seats before and then i'm actually gonna have to vacuum the inside now that i think about if i do that because i don't know how bad the seats like the regular seats are i don't think they're even that bad i just thought i wanted i think i just wanted you know black like leather seats and i didn't want to buy <clears throat> you know something expensive i wanted something cheap to make my car look better and I thought that would probably make it look better. But I guess we'll have to see when we take them off. If there is like a hole or something that I don't remember about and that's why I got it, then I'm definitely going to leave them on there. But I don't know. For the most part, 
I don't think anybody would really want them on there. But some people might. I, I might... Well, I guess we'll see. But, yeah, I'm going to get a quick montage, guys, of us, of me, you know, power washing the car real quick. Hopefully we can get all the little things of dirt off of it. It's not really that dirty, but I want to see if I can clean the rims, you know, off real bad. But I want to show you guys a difference real quick. So, if you guys can see this, the color in this one, it's obviously, this brake pad is just done. There's no brakes in this wheel at all. Compared to this one, where it's perfectly good, this is probably one of my only good brakes. And honestly, I don't know about this one. But I could just look in the back and see. But see, this is the side where the crash happened and all the damage and if you guys did not see that video um <clears throat> go check it out be right there in the corner but that video is literally that was probably like actually one of the actually that's the first video that i was back on the channel now that i think about it and this was already like this i might try to fix this you know just like glue it back on do some little repairs like that even this right here i could just fix like that put some little epoxy right there make it look a little bit better and if I bought another wheel thing put it on that I then literally just said you know there's something wrong with the front of the car something like that I mean there is something wrong with I have to say there what's wrong with the car and all that but I keep thinking that there's something in my shoe it's scaring me but yeah guys I'm going to play some music on my speaker here. I love this thing so much. Um, and we are going to go. Yeah, we're going to get a montage of this car getting washed. And then we're going to put it out to the road. But if you guys do want to know what this speaker is, because I get a lot of, <clears throat> like, like whenever I bring this to parties, everybody wants to know what this is, this is called. This is a sound core speaker. It was like 200 bucks at walmart and they stopped selling it and then they made like a smaller one i don't know how good that one is compared to this one but i got the big one i kind of don't really want it because i i want something that i can carry around more so i might get a new speaker but yeah guys let's get to this montage Guys, it is time for a smoothie. We got a bunch of stuff in here. We got ice in the bottom. Just put some juices in there. Get some strawberries. I was gonna put some raspberries, but he's got mold all over them, so they gotta go. This is like one of the nicest things too, because it's an easy thing. And we got fresh picked strawberries, so I just put some of those in there. I'm trying to just grab a bunch of random stuff, but yeah, we got a couple different juices. I'm actually gonna put this in here too, guys. This is supposed to help like with your pain and stuff. It's called Chaga. I've talked about it on my channel. If you guys don't know what it is, look it up or comment, put it down in the comments and I'll talk about it some other time. If you guys actually wanna know what this does and it does help, it really helps out your muscles and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna put a little shot in here and hopefully it's not too strong. My dad said the alcohol in it was too strong this time, so. I don't know. It's something like weird to make for your drinks and stuff, but yeah. You guys would have to ask 
I'd have to try to explain it to you guys some other time, but might have to put some other stuff in here real quick. But yeah, let's make a smoothie real quick. Let's test, try this thing out, guys. It's a little liquidy, I could put some more ice in there, that's probably what I'll do. All right, that tastes good. Tastes literally perfect. I honestly might put some more of that chaga in there, but I'm gonna put some more ice in it, make it a little bit more smoothie, because I have a little bit more space in there, and yeah. I'm going to go back outside and show you guys what else I'm doing with the car and what I'm cleaning. I'm trying to clean all the brake dust off the car, so I'm going to show you guys actually what it looks like now. So, yeah, see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, just finished cleaning the wheels. As you guys can see, they literally look pretty good, at, but you can see a lot of scratch marks. So that's kind of the downfall on what I used on that tire, and then I stopped using it on this tire. This one looks way better, I just washed it off. And obviously this one has none. And this one was brand new. This brake is all fine. And there's no dust anywhere on this whole brake pad. Or that whole rim. So the whole car is clean. What in the world? I got some crease marks right here. Are you serious? This is not okay. That is not okay. This stuff also, I use this on the whole car. So I don't know why there's even marks right here. We're going to get around the wheel wells because we just use some water. There we go. This wax on. Wax off, baby. There we go. Those marks are gone now. <clears throat> Looks all good. I'll do a little bit around this one. This stuff on, honestly works very, very nice, guys. It makes the car very shiny, so it's gonna make these pictures pop out a lot more that I take of the car. And the wheels are all, you know, nicely done. But yeah, I used a credit card, or you know, any type of card to take off the brake dust. So like I used this card right here, this Visa card, and I started using this metal brush but it was not it was making like marks on the wheel and i didn't want that but yeah guys i'm about to take some pictures of the car real quick now it's all clean and put it out by the road for sale so yeah let's get out to the road all right <clears throat> excuse me all right as you guys can see um that we got my car all situated um i went and took a bunch of pictures of the car and you know I'm going to post a pic I'm going to post um something on Facebook probably tonight. I've been seeing a lot of different cars been going by and a lot of stuff's been going crazy. Like a lot of really cool cars that I'm not used to seeing around here. But yeah, um Got a bunch of pictures right here, guys. All these pictures right here of the car. And I'm going to post all these pictures onto, you know, on the post. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I actually think, I remember not, I said I was going to show you guys a picture of my brother's baby that was just born a few days ago, about a week ago now. 
but I never showed you guys a picture. So I'm just gonna show you guys real quick. Wow, my phone. There she is. Um, she was like seven pounds or something, I think. Let me check my brother's message. Yeah, she was <clears throat> eight pounds. That's a big baby. She was a big baby. Um, and she was 22 inches long. I'm pretty sure. Whoa. What the heck? I felt like a bug just went in my ear. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. What the heck? You guys just seen that? I'm gonna have to re-watch this clip and see if a, I seen a bug in my ear or something. It's probably just me tweaking out. But, yeah guys, I know basically this whole video has just been me showing you guys what and doing stuff with the car. Um, and it's kind of getting a little late. It's about 6 o'clock right now. I might ask my dad if we can go look at some cars, but I already did that in the last video, so I don't want to bore you guys with the same thing, so I thought I might as well just save it for a different time, because I wanted to go show you guys an act, like a car that I've been looking at, so, you know, this way I can actually give you guys an actual update of a certain car, not just me looking for a car, and as you guys can see, I'm sweating super, super bad. It's just stupid hot up here, but <clears throat> I don't really know what else I'm going to do today. And see, today is Friday. Since I'm back home, guys, I need to I need to be posting these videos on time. And I need to make sure I'm actually getting everything where I need to be. So I think I'm going to end the video here, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys are not already subscribed, please go hit that subscribe button. Make that, that subscribe button turn to a gray notification button for me. So you guys can stay in touch with all the videos. Um, yeah, guys, chase it every single day. You already know. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Anyways, this is Chase, and I'm signing out. Peace, guys.